What is up guys, TechRax here. So it's that time of year again when the new iPhone 7 comes out in a couple of years, guys. I did a video like this last year. I wanted to do it again. My most memorable mega iPhone collection. So I'm gonna run through this really quick now. Keep in mind, these are not all of the iPhones I have. I have a lot of test ones, a lot of ones that I just don't even remember what I did to them. So I'm gonna go through the ones I remember, the ones that I really kinda cherish. So this is the first one, this is an iPhone 5S, uh, it was back in the days of when I had a train run over it, so it was shredded, it was, it's a beautiful side, I really, really enjoy this one, this is definitely, I'd say, in my top 10 favorites, so there is one right here, this is also a very legendary iPhone bullet, straight shot, it's a clean phone, looks very nice, but it's just got that volcano looking uh, creator, so I love, I love, really love this phone right here. Bam, next one. Okay, so this is the one with the molten aluminum. This was a while ago. I believe this is the actually, yeah, it's the iPhone 6, so very cool. Also, a very, very old one right here. This is the iPhone 5S, the original bend test before all that bend hype. I really, really like the detail of this one, just the way it got left over the final results. It looked amazing. I had to keep it guys, had to keep it. <laughs> this one right here, so this is also probably one of my most favorite iPhones, if maybe not the favorite, I don't know, maybe, because I did two videos on this. I did the scratch test, pure gold, and then I also threw it in the lava lamp, which it also exploded, the lava lamp, so pretty cool. Now this one right here was, uh, looks like a spider nest right now, but this was actually that blowtorch that I had. I think it was like 6,000 degrees, iPhone 6 as well. Uh, just the way it looks like, I had to keep it, but it does definitely look like trash, so that's that. Love this one right here, so don't boil your iPhone in Coca-Cola, guys. I love, definitely, again, one of my top five favorites, just because it looks so good, and it hasn't really came into different pieces, just two main pieces, and. The color is great, it's still in, you know, it's not coming apart completely, so it looks nice. I love it, that's why I keep it. Okay, so we got some typical hammer tests here. This is just a hammer smash for the Galaxy S6, I believe. Now, this one right here is actually the Hot Piranha Solution, so this was a recent one. And um, this was some very dangerous stuff right here. The way it looks like right now, though, is really nasty. It's got, like, spider webs all over it. I really got to label these and, like, put them in a Ziploc bag. But the design on the back is very, very nice. And, again, very dirty, though. Very nasty looking, but that's that. So this is just a hammer smash for the iPhone SE. Pretty simple. Now, this was just where the gallium, so basically I was able to take the iPhone apart into different pieces. This is the way it looks like right now. You can see the back is completely gone because of that. This was another OG right here, the grind test. Don't grind your iPhone 6S or how to grind your iPhone 6 properly. Looks nice, just a simple kind of bear claw design. Beautiful. So here is another hammer smash. This is the Galaxy S7 uh, Edge. Yeah, I think it's the Edge. Yep. So it looks pretty good still. Of course, this is the most recent right here, the Galaxy Note 7 hammer smash. So it did erupt and looks pretty nice. It's actually a super heavy one right here. This is because of the bismuth. So this is the iPhone that was in the molten bismuth metal. So that bismuth got stuck into that iPhone and now it's super heavy. Motorola Droid Turbo 2. This is the one with the unbreakable screen, but it did actually break, so not really. This was actually another recent one. This was the fireworks explosion, so it kind of left a really sick imprint. I really like this one, but uh, the top front Screen completely fell apart, so I can't find it. There it is. This is another really sick one right here. This was actually back when I had a dirt bike. 
uh, the chain crushed this phone right here. So you can see just the design looks amazing on the back and the front is even cooler. The battery is completely uh, thrashed or, you know, exploded. I don't even know what I said. Thrashed is that a word? But anyways, guys, check out how it's just completely destroyed and obliterated. Love that one. So this is one that was actually on the freeway grinding the floor. So you guys can see it's got that hook on the front. And it's super, super smooth. It's got a smooth finish, but you could see it was eating away part of the phone as well at some point. Another one of my favorites here, guys, the Don't Boil Your iPhone in Crayons. So this was an awesome one right here. You guys could see the detail of that turquoise color. That was a very scary video right here. Probably one of my most dangerous attempts. So right here is, actually I did not know what this one was, so I actually just got it right here, but I have no clue, I literally just forgot, I forgot what I did with this, just the way it looks like, I can't remember for some reason, it is an iPhone 6s though, but looks really grainy, no clue. So this is actually another one, I don't remember what I did with it, but uh, it's very, very crispy, like this thing is burnt. Uh, to the ground. I'm sure it wasn't just a simple burn test. I don't know what it was, but again, it does look super sick. You guys can see two different pieces, just like that. Really don't want to touch this one at all, but I feel like this could be the one in the candy. So when it was boiling in the candy, very, very sticky. It actually got super messy. It's been spreading on other phones too, and it's still sticky, but you guys could see it's orange. It's definitely the one in the Jolly Ranchers and the Skittles and all that good stuff. This one right here, also my top five favorite for now. This was the kind of mini lava that I had, uh, the chemical ammonium dichromate. So you guys could see the back design. It was actually just left such a cool finish. It actually looks different now than it did before. So uh, it's like a fine wine. But you guys could see, guys, it looks beautiful. Then I also have a collection of the different ones that I did for, I think it was just a single video where I put it, dipped them all in paint and then I just, uh, I got a nail through them or I shot them or something. I forgot what I even did with these. But yeah, they all got holes in them. There's different colors. They're all 6S's or 6 pluses or 6S pluses. And also this one right here, I think this is the last one. So this is the one with the winch. It was crushed up, super sick design. I love just the way this turned out to look like, just because it's all mangled up and foiled into this little ball. And that is it, guys. So again, I do have a lot more, but they're either like ones I just completely forgot or like it was a huge ball that I dropped. It was like 17. They're, they're just cracked, simple cracked phones, you know. So these are really kind of the memorable ones. And there's also some, you know, where I couldn't retrieve, like the bromine. I think I lost that one. And then the sodium hide, uh, the one with the, the little chemical thing that exploded in the water. <laughs> so that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, guys, stay tuned. So many epic videos coming out these next few weeks with the iPhone launch, guys. I'm going to be traveling across the world to different countries to film certain videos, guys, that I have not been managed to I have not been able to do so ever. So thank you guys again. One last final time. Stay tuned for more videos and peace out.